DJI Spreading Wings S900 installation demonstration. Assembling the Spreading Wings S900. Open the box. Install the retractable landing gear. Remove the silicon rubber damper. Slide a landing gear skid tube into a landing gear leg. Fasten with an M2.5 by 6.7 screw. Repeat with the other leg. Insert the landing gear leg into the attachment point on the center frame. Ensure the warning sticker faces out. Repeat with the other leg. Fasten with M3 by 8 screws. Install the spring. Connect the large U-shaped end to the clamp on the landing gear. Connect the smaller bent end to the wire attached to the mainframe. Repeat on the other side. Install the frame arms. Ensure the propellers are in good condition. Ensure each propeller cover is installed tightly. Ensure the motors are mounted firmly and rotate freely. Mount the arms with the red bracket to the M1 and M2 positions to indicate the aircraft nose. Find the arms with a CCW mark. Mount arms marked CCW to the M1, M3, and M5 positions on the center frame. Find the arms marked with a CW mark. Mount arms marked CW to the M2, M4, and M6 positions on the center frame. To mount, insert each frame arm vertically into the mounting area. Insert the screws from the right side and tighten appropriately. Gently lift the frame arm and twist the red knob to lock it in place. Repeat with all of the arms. Remove the upper center board. Now we'll demonstrate how to remove the round cover. Unscrew the two screws under the lower center board. Then remove the round cover. Insert two cables into each power bracket. Red cables go together into positive brackets and black cables go into negative brackets. Replace the screws with the power cables secured inside. To ensure a reliable connection, rotate the screw until it is both tight and parallel to the connecting bracket. Put the round cover back on. Make sure all the power cables are threaded through the holes. Then replace the two screws. Plug the ESC signal cables into the slots on the center frame. Next, mount the A2 flight controller onto the S900. Mount the main controller. Connect the main controller and the center board. Yellow 4-pin cables are for M1 to M4 connections. The yellow cables should be connected to M1 on the center board. Brown 4-pin cables are for M5 to M6 connections. The brown cables should be connected to M5 on the center board. Black 4-pin cables are for four continuous ground pin connections. Connect them to the center board. Then connect all of the cables to the corresponding ports on the flight controller. Attach the IMU to the center frame with the arrow pointing towards the nose. Connect the IMU to the CAN1 port on the flight controller. Mount the IOSD module near the main controller. Connect the IOSD power cable to the center board. Mount the PMU module. Connect the PMU power cable. Connect the PW port on the PMU to the CAN2 port on the flight controller. Plug the PMU X1 cable into the X1 port on the flight controller. Install the LED module. Two positions have been reserved. Here we are putting it on the left. Thread the cables through the center frame and connect them to the PMU. Attach the GPS mounting bracket. Remount the upper center board with the GPS stand mounted. Tighten the screws. Mount the GPS module to the bracket using the GPS stand. Ensure the arrow on the GPS is pointing towards the aircraft nose. Connect the GPS to the CAN port on the IMU. Connect the IOSD to the CAN port on the GPS. Connect the landing gear's power cable to the center board. 
Plug the left servo cable into the L port. Plug the right servo cable into the R port. Connect the F1 port of the A2 controller to the N port of the landing gear. Connect the landing gear power cable to the power port on the center board. Now install a Zenmuse Z15 GH4 HD gimbal with a camera attached. Attach gimbal to the mounting bracket of the S900. Plug the GCU power cables into their respective ports. Connect the GCU and IOSD with the CAN cable. Attach some Velcro tape to the battery tray. Attach the battery tray and battery. The S900 uses AS150 spark-proof plugs. Connect the black plugs, then connect the red plugs. Installation is complete. Thanks for watching.